Hey everybody, it's April. Did you realize that it's week 10 of 2022? It's a 10th time that you can start over if you like. Um, it's another opportunity. It's a Monday. Here we go. So I'm going to start on forearms and then we're going to see how it goes with our planking today. So I'm setting up my stopwatch. All right. So, oh yeah, forearms. <laughs> Wrap your hands around your biceps so you know you have the right distance between your elbows. And then you bring your forearms back out in front of you. You can interlace your fingers if you like. Pull your shoulders down your back. Lift your upper back. Lift your chest. Pull in your belly. Come up on your toes. The timer has started, but go ahead and shift your weight forward. And I'm going to roll around here a little bit so I can really lengthen out. Remember, you're trying to make a nice plank shape with your body, and planks are straight. Well, for the most part, uh, um, you know, you're going to have a little bit of booty uh, lift because <laughs> it keep you from being a total straight line when you're planking, but that's the idea. So go through all that stuff again, though. Press into the floor, lift your upper back, pull in your abs. You're really working on that core strength when you're planking. Tighten up your glutes. We're at 34 seconds, by the way. Press your heels back. So you make sure when you're planking, you're working on just about every muscle in your body, especially those abs. So keep pulling in your navel. Keep pulling in. Keep breathing. Hold, hold, hold. If you have to come down on your knees after a little while, you can. And then you can come back up again. Um, so maybe you keep your stopwatch in front of you so you know how long you've been holding. Oh, we're at a minute. I'm going to switch to my hands. So, yeah, if you do have to come down on your knees, stop your stopwatch. And then maybe you rest a little bit and then come back up again. And that's one way you do start working on your strength. So the last time I planked in this sweater, I had a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction when we got to side plank. So I'm going to be a little more careful this time when we get to side plank. <laughs> But I like to go back to, this is our 10th week of this year. So, you know, you don't want to look at that and go, oh my gosh, we're already 10 weeks in, 130, and I haven't started doing the things I said I was going to do. You know what? That's all right. Actually, look at this as a new opportunity to start doing new things or start doing those things you already made a list of and that you haven't started yet. Or maybe you make a new list. Um, or maybe something else has come up, but you don't want to wait until the next new year to try and make improvements or changes that you perhaps need to make. Two minutes. I'm going to switch back to my forearms, and I'm going to lift a leg. I have this little beaded bracelet on today that's pretty, it's pretty actually, but also it's kind of bumpy on my forearm when I have it on the floor. Pressing into the floor, pulling in your belly. You don't have to lift a leg if you don't want to. I like doing that. It's a little more of a challenge, and it just makes it, uh, it's a little more of a distraction <laughs> from just holding. Okay, coming up on 2.30, switching legs. Keep your good form. Pressing into the floor, pulling in your belly. So, you know, this could be the 10th, this is the 10th week of the, of the new year. And so maybe you're not, maybe you don't care about planking longer. That's okay. Maybe what you're going to do is start walking or going to yoga or running or just some other workout. You're going to the gym, but use this as an opportunity. And that's one reason why I especially like three minutes. Okay, we're going to try side plank. Let's see what happens here. Pulling my sweater. Okay, there we go. Stacking your feet or you can bring your top foot in front of you. Stay lifted out of your bottom shoulder. Press the sole of your bottom foot toward the floor. Oh shoot, my stopwatch went away. Oh my goodness, I must have touched something I shouldn't have. All right, where are we? There we go, we're at 325, 26, there we go. We're getting ready to switch. Act like I've never done this before. 330 and switching sides, here we go. Again, stacking your feet or bringing your top foot in front of you, that helps with balance. Reach that upper arm to the sky. Really lift your hips. Think about what you're working on in side plank. You're working on your side body. Whittling your waist. Working on your nice posture. All kinds of good things come from side plank. Helps you with bending, stretching. And we're at four minutes. I'm coming back to my hands. Move my hair out of my face. Readjust my sweater. <laughs> So I'm planking at the office today, in case you can't tell. I'm actually in the office closet, as I like to call it. There's now no longer a desk behind me where there used to be one. I don't know what happened to it. 
Um, but the floor looks still looks pretty good from when I vacuumed last week. I don't think anybody else vacuums in here. So, oh well. Okay, so we're coming up on 4.30. Keep going. Remember, Mondays are the, uh, that Monday set the tone for the week. So if you start planking today, chances are you will plank the rest of the week or at least try to throw it in one or two more times. Make it good, make it strong, make sure you have a nice, you have nice form. We have 10 more seconds for five minutes. If you came down on your knees, come back up again. You can do it. You can hold, you can breathe. You got it going on. Five minutes, yay. I'm gonna hold a few seconds longer. I'm gonna make it good and strong, pressing into the floor. Oh, I felt things move again, <laughs> pulling in my belly. Got five more seconds and we are done, yay. See, five minutes, that was nothing. Just seems like the time just flies by when you're planking and having fun. Have a great day. See ya.